fine with Why, me. did somebody say something? <laughs> Hi all. Well yes, it finally arrived. I've been waiting for this one for a while. I just have loved my Park Zone Radian, my Park Zone Radian Pro, then they bought the E-Flight UMX Radian out. All been great planes. They've added to the family. We've got the big and easy Radian XL 2.6 meter. Now this is a big glider. It comes complete with everything you need apart from a battery. I've been waiting for a long while to get this. I'd like to thank Mike from Model Flight for getting it out to me as quick as he could. And uh, let's get this out of the box and have a look at it in its foam and then we'll get it out. We'll build it. We'll bind it. And then the next video will be flying it. Well, there it is out of its box. And as you can see, packed as it always is really well. Uh, this is a big box. It's a big plane. Um, let's get it out of this foam and we'll get it on the desk and have a good look at it. Okay, here it is all out of the box. Now, this new Radian XL 2.6 meter glider, as we know, it's got a huge middle section here. Let me give you a better view. Look at that, a huge middle section. You've got your uh, servo here for the um, spoilers. Your spoilers are here, fitted in this main section. One, two, three, four, five screws to put it on. You've got two outer wing panels. These are well braced as well. And they just screw on with a couple of screws as well. You've got fiberglass spars that are gonna hold it. You have to glue the rudder on yourself. Simple job, put these into the hole, little bit of thin CA, and they'll be done. I'll show you how to do that, we're gonna put it together. The tail section is a moving tail section. So this just fits on the back, and the whole elevator moves, the whole wing. You get your bag of screws and accessories as always. You get your manual, which will have all your setting up in it. The canopy, okay, and here's the fuse. As you can see, it's quite big. Let's get a bit of a close up on some of the stuff that's in it. In here, we have our AR635. It is completely programmable. So if you don't like the AS3X that's on this glider, you can uh, plug it into your app on your phone and change it. You can get rid of the AS3X or you can have the AS3X, up to you. From all reports so far, the AS3X works really well. You still see all the lift. You don't notice that it's there, it just helps with the flight. We've got a big area up front here for your battery. It takes a 3200 battery, 3S. Folding props, big motor in there. The ESC is underneath, you can see it through there, it's underneath here. Overall, very nice. The foam is that really smooth foam. The same with the wings. Very nice. I'm impressed with this. You've got your one cable here, which is for your air brakes. You also get some stickers for the bottom of your wing. Some people like to have the black stickers underneath so that you can see it easier in the air. I know I'll be fitting something like this. Okay, we've looked at it all. I think it's time for me to put it together. So we'll get it together now, I'll show you how it goes together and uh, let's get on with it. First up we've got to fit the rudder. I've slotted it into spot, I'm putting it into space, it says to do that. It says you should use a credit card to get credit card in there just to give you the distance that it needs. So I'll just give it a little bit of credit card movement there, double check that. Get some thin CA, bend it over, find where it is, and just put a little bit on each hinge you can see there. Let it wick in, then get your thing lined up before it dries. Get it nice and lined up. Again, just get that credit card in there. Just get that credit card bit of distance there. That gives you a nice turn. There we go. Right, that's looking good, nice and even. Now we just let that part dry. Okay, when that side's dry, turn her over 
and do the other side just open her up let it wick in there just let it wick in it should already be pretty well held but you're just going to wick it in some more right just let it wick in there make sure she moves okay that's that part done well let's let that dry now we're going to fit the elevator tail section because remember the whole tail is moving put one side in and I'm going to screw that side in and that side will be left in always because uh, you don't need to take both sides of these out each time you take it apart for storage and what have you now something to remember is read the manual there is two different sizes of screws it doesn't tell you whether it's front or back or back or front I'm gonna work that out by experiment hopefully I'll tell you well that was really easy to work out it's thicker up this end than that end so the longer one goes to the front and the shorter one goes to the back tighten them down so just line up the two holes over this side push them through and that's basically it done all is what you've got to do now is put this side on and put your two screws in I'll do that now okay remembering the big one to the front the little one to the back that's now done now I haven't connected this uh, rudder up yet because I'm going to bind it first so that I can adjust it and get it at the right angle same with this here we'll adjust that up the other end so what I might do now is bind my DX9 to the uh, Radian XL so I can set up this back end okay I've bound it and the air brakes are working okay we've got the rudder working and the full moving tail so there we go that's all that you've got to set up okay time to put the wings on well the wing is real easy to put on all is what you need to do is line up that bit there we connect up our air brakes make sure you got the colors around the right way okay tuck that all in up the front here because you don't want it anywhere interfering that goes on there like so that slots in there and basically that's it now we just use the supplied screws to screw it together I'm gonna screw it together you don't need to watch that so I'll get that screwed together okay next up we have gotta get these end bits on you put your little joiner in there make sure you get the right one for the right way up you put your two fiberglass mounts in there and then the wing just basically slides on just line her up line her up with that side line up that thing there you go now you've got three screws we'll uh, get them in underneath you don't need to see me do that and then I'll do the other side which is exactly the same and that's it built I'll get them screws in okay well there it is all together this thing is a monster it's really hard to show you it all because uh, I just can't get it in the screen but there you go it, it's a really nice glider I'd like to thank Mike from Model Flight for uh, getting this out to me as quick as he could and uh, here we are it's all built now it goes together really well um, one thing read the manual you've got a few different size screws in there and you need to know which way they go uh, apart from that I found it went together very easy uh, the phone quality as we said before looks really good um, I just can't fold it so okay that's it for now uh, hopefully this weekend we'll get out and maiden it weather's atrocious here we've got nothing but rain at the moment but um, any, any break in it we get and we'll get out there and have a fly of this so that's it for now thanks for watching Hope you've enjoyed this little presentation and keep an eye out for that maiden flight.